I have done a lot of different diet keto stuff. I've done high carb, I've done low carb, I've done high fat, I've done intermittent fasting. Alter Everything wrong with Alex Hormozzi's diet for entrepreneurs. I've eaten dessert virtually every night for 20 years. I have never skipped dessert and I've been able to maintain a six pack for that entire period of time. Last 10 years, I've pretty much eaten the exact same way. Be able to have business dinners, be able to have drinks. Many of the entrepreneurs that I know who've seen me eat have been around me a long time. End up so we know that Alex has tried a whole range of diets. So it's going to be interesting to see what he says and how that applies to business owners who don't, don't look, look like, like Alex. Number one is you have to figure out what your goal is. You're trying to get bigger, you're trying to get smaller. From there, you start at number seven all the way up to 21. And every three, you go from extreme weight loss to moderate weight loss to maintenance to moderate weight gain to extreme weight gain. All you have to do is multiply your body weight. So let's say I'm a 200 pound guy and I wanna get leaner. I'm gonna to go to moderate cut, which is the second from the bottom here of these three, which you've got 10, 11, 12. And I'm gonna say 10, because it's easy math. And so I'm gonna multiply 200, which is my weight, times 10, which is this coefficient, which gives me 2,000 calories. I like that this is a simple model that anyone can do. However, it's a little bit oversimplified because it doesn't factor in the fluctuations in your daily movement and your daily exercise. If you're not monitoring what you're eating accurately and you don't know how much you're burning, it's going to be very difficult to find out what point on this range you actually need to be to lose body fat, maintain it, or even gain it. To give you an example, using the TDEE calculator, which stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure, TDEE calculator.net, where you can simply plug in all of your metrics, your weight, your height, and your activity level. If you haven't been working out four or five days a week, but you intend to do three workouts a week, you would select light exercise. Now that's assuming that you don't do 20,000 steps a day. Already, I know what my maintenance calories are gonna be very close to. This is extremely helpful because it reduces the amount of time that you have to spend doing trial and error. Whereas now, all you need to do is work backwards from this maintenance level. My maintenance is 2300. So I wanna test that out. I wanna see, okay, if I shave that down to 2000, what is going to happen to my body weight? And you'll have to track that every day to see what the effect of eating this much food is going to have on your weight and your body fat level. The issue with just choosing your pounds and multiplying it by a number on that scale that Alex gives leaves a huge room for error and I'll give you an example. If I type in my weight, 73 kilos, it's 160 pounds. Now, if I wanna lose fat based on scale that Alex showed us, 160 pounds times 10 is 1600. Now, as I showed you before in the TDEE calculator, my maintenance is 2300. So if I drop to 1600, that is a 700 calorie deficit, which is huge and would likely have me thinking and dreaming about food 24 seven. All right, now if you're like, doesn't it change? What about my exercise? And what if I have a physical job? It doesn't really matter. If you lose too much weight too fast, go to a level, you can adjust it. Here's step three. You multiply your weight, 200 pounds again, you multiply it by one, means 200 grams of protein. Some of the science nerds are like, you can only metabolize 0.7 grams per, don't give a shit. For most people, particularly men, men who don't have pounds of muscle hanging off their arms, their chest, and every limb in their body, timesing your weight in pounds by one to get the total amount of protein you should be eating per day is already huge. huge. It's so much protein that you're likely not used to eating, even more than what some bodybuilders would eat, at least on the natural side. Busy CEOs and entrepreneurs find it challenging to get even 100 grams of protein every single day. So expecting you to get double that can be very difficult. That's because the optimal protein range, the range that is shown by a whole range of studies to give you the best benefit and bang for buck is between 1.6 grams per kilogram all the way up to two grams per kilogram. If your current weight is 200 pounds, that is 90 kilograms. So at a minimum, you can be aiming for 1.6, which is 144 grams of protein. That's gonna put you in the optimal range. You're not gonna miss out on any benefits of protein for muscle building or recovery. However, if you enjoy eating protein, like Alex Hormozzi and like myself, you might wanna increase that a little bit to 0.8, which would put you at 162. 
Every pound of lean meat, white fish, ground turkey breast, 96 more ground beef, shrimp, whatever. A pound is 100 grams of protein. So if you need 200 grams, you need two pounds. And that's if you exclusively ate meat. I can eat over my one gram per pound. I like eating protein. It fills me up. I feel good on it. That's why I do it. If you don't eat as much, don't. That point right there is really important. Alex enjoys eating a lot of protein. He really does eat a lot. For example, if you were aiming for 100 grams of protein in one meal, that means you would have to have 400 grams grams of chicken breast that is a lot if you're busy that you're going to have time to go to a steakhouse or a pub every single day for lunch and dinner to get this much protein After the math, this is the last math equation we have to do we have 2,000 calories and we know we have to eat 200 grams of protein all you have to do is figure out what two pounds of meat you want to eat or where you want to get your 200 grams of protein from and figure out how many calories are in that thing these two pounds of meat are both turkey i eat turkey for both meals crazy these are both 560 i know that that's 1120 that's how many calories i have of protein that i eat in my day so i subtract my calories associated with those meals from my 2,000 in this example and i would have 880 calories left over those 880 calories here is the magic of how this works you can do whatever you want with it. if you need to go out to a business dinner you want to have drinks cool well cocktail is probably 150 calories have two of those and have a 500 calorie meal of whatever you want. Because again, you've already got your protein. You could just stay at home and have an entire pint of ice cream that's 880 calories. Or Alex is actually right. You can eat practically whatever you want, provided it fits your daily calorie budget. However, I highly recommend avoiding cookies and pints of ice cream after eating a chicken breast or steak for dinner. Why? Long term, that is not going to be good for your health, particularly for people with underlying conditions like autoimmune, arthritis, thyroid, or any metabolic syndromes that aren't going to respond well to a massive dose of processed carbohydrates and sugars. With that said, he is right, and I do recommend this to my own clients because they're often going out to business dinners with clients, date night with the wife, networking drinks, staff parties and lunches, and they want to enjoy what everyone else is enjoying because you don't want to be the awkward guy ordering a salad and having to tell everyone that you're on some special diet. However, I do recommend that you keep an eye on your calorie budget so that you don't blow it out. And there's an important reason why, which I'm going to explain shortly. That's with a cup. That's with me trying to lose a pretty significant amount of weight. Now, I actually maintain, because we're going to this uh, 13 to 15 chunk. If I multiply my body weight, I'm more than 200, but let's just say it's 200 for math's sake, times 15, 3,000 calories. He's over 200 pounds, that lean and that thick. And there's a reason for this, which I'm going to show you towards. So I would have an extra 1,000 calories on top of that 1,000 if I did that same thing. Instead of having two of these cookies, I could have like five of these cookies <laughs> for dinner. Or I could have two of these bites and still have some. Most entrepreneurs and CEOs I know would be gaining body fat every day, every week, eating 3,000 calories. So please do not compare your physique to Alex Hormozzi's physique. Two pints of ice cream or two plates of cookies, let alone the influence that might have on your kids, on your wife and your body long term. Bites and still have some food. I eat the same breakfast and lunch every day. I start my day with, let's call it a 200 calorie bar, you call it a brownie, it doesn't matter. If I'm traveling, I might not have this with me, I'll grab a quick bar at the airport, right? 200 calories and 20 grams of protein, one of those bars. And then I have a shake, and this is 30 grams of protein and 160 calories. I'm in for 360 calories for my breakfast. I got 50 grams of protein knocked down already. The same breakfast and lunch idea is great, however, can be extremely difficult to stick to if you're someone who is always traveling around, going to different places, meeting with different people, and you're not working from home every single day in the, the exact same routine with time to prepare the same meals. However, starting the day with a protein shake works really well. A lot of my clients do this, particularly because they train early in the morning and they don't have time to go home to make scrambled eggs and toast and the deluxe breakfast. So quick solution, powder, shake, knock it down, and you're already ahead on the day with protein for a very low amount of calories. I have a pound of turkey, which we already know is 560, and I actually only eat half of one of these guys. One cup of rice. I now have 150 grams of protein and 1140 in terms of calories that I've eaten so far. Dinner is the big flex meal for me. Now, I also tend to eat a pound of protein at dinner. Do I need to? Absolutely not. Do I want to? Absolutely. I love eating protein. I feel good when I eat meat. Okay, I'm glad he said that because it's clear Alex really enjoys eating protein and that's why he eats so much, but you don't have to. You absolutely can, provided it fits your optimal daily calorie budget. And I do this also because then I'm full. If I just eat cookies, I'm usually not full. If I just eat cookies, I'm usually not full. 
And so this is really what I eat every day. So if you're like, where's your greens? I have a multivite and I continue to stay alive. We can take all the supplements under the sun. However, the word supplement is meant to supplement an already healthy and balanced diet. So I'm not going to sit here and condone eating cookies, pints of ice creams and alcohol every night and then relying on supplementation to fill the gap. You'll feel much better eating a balanced diet with the right amount of protein, the right amount of carbs and fats for your goals and the optimal daily calorie balance that's gonna meet your workout requirements and your daily activity and then using supplements to add on top to supplement an already balanced diet. So when Alex started rattling off his body weight and how much food he eats, I got a little bit suspicious. I wanted to understand how he looks basically like a, a lean gorilla. <laughs> And here's what I came across. Okay, cool. I was always really, really, really nervous to put anything in my body. But then I got my testosterone checked twice. So I was 25 years old, so that's supposed to be peak testosterone. I did it in the morning after I trained. Everything should have been 100% aligned. And my testosterone at that point, and that was after bulking, overfeeding, sleeping 10 hours, like everything. On an interview with More Plates, More Dates, Alex revealed that he does take TRT, which is overseen by, I believe that's Trevor Cashy. The fact is, if you're not on TRT, you can't expect to look the way that Alex looks, it's very easy for us to watch a video like this, even myself and go, damn, he looks so good, he's eating so much food, what am I doing wrong? Everybody is different. Everybody eats different foods and can be taking different supplementation, including TRT. Keep this in mind so that you can make the right decision for your long-term physique and health goals. And that's not to say that Alex doesn't train hard and he's very open about this. So if that's not something that you want to do, if you don't want to sacrifice one, two, or even three hours, four to five days a week, then don't expect to look like Alex Hormozy. And this is the most important part that I want to share. What I'm not saying is this is the most scientifically researched, whatever. I'm just sharing what worked for me. If something works for you, just keep doing that. This is what works for him. What works for you is going to be something entirely different. Working with hundreds of business owners and CEOs, every one of their plans, their nutrition strategy is always different when it comes to nutrition and workouts. There's so many variables. So with all that said, if you're looking to lose body fat, get your lean body back, feel fitter, more energized and younger, while also having the flexibility that Alex talks about to eat the food you want to eat, not feel deprived and still enjoy networking drinks, parties, celebrations, trips, date night, or even some ice cream with the kids. That is exactly what I help my clients do one-on-one -on -one inside of my metabolic recomp method. And I have a little bonus for you. If you would like to avoid the seven biggest fat loss mistakes that stops CEOs and entrepreneurs from shedding body fat and getting their lean body back, I have a free report for you that you can download in the description below this video. Go there now, tap the link and get your copy.